Hey guys, AB here from B&H, and today I'm checking out Sony's C100 Large Diaphragm Two-Way Condenser Mic. This is the flagship model in their line of high-res microphones, which also includes the ECM100U unidirectional mic and the ECM100N omnidirectional mic. Both of those are condensers, so there are three in total. Before we dive deeper into the C100 specifically, let's chat about what high-res means with these mics in general. Most good microphones out there feature one capsule, and that captures audio, typically in the range of 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. Fairly standard, no big surprises there. However, these Sony's employ a two capsule design, assigning frequencies from 20 hertz to 25 kilohertz to the larger capsule, and 25 kilohertz to 50 kilohertz to the smaller capsule. 50. I mean, now, whether or not humans can actually hear a whole lot above 20K or so can be debated, but I think that what's important here is not so much the specs themselves, but the technology that employs this two-way design to achieve an extended frequency response. It's kind of like when you have a loudspeaker with a separate woofer and tweeter, except that in the case of these mics, the crossover is basically at 25K. In addition to the capsules, all three high-res models feature ported construction to prevent acoustic vibrations from being picked up by the capsules themselves. Plus, you get a high-pass filter and a 10 dB pad. Shifting back to the C100, when you look at its physical design, it is definitely reminiscent of a famous studio microphone that I was fortunate to use back in the days when I actually owned a professional studio. I'm talking about the C800G from, you guessed it, Sony and it was renowned for its clarity and smooth upfront sound. There are lots of differences between the C100 and the C800, so I'm not saying that this is a substitute for that mic. First off, the C100 is much smaller and doesn't employ the technology that makes the C800 so special, but I will tell you that despite its size, this little guy has that familiar upfront quality you find in its big brother. And on top of that, Sony was still able to incorporate three switchable polar patterns, cardioid of course, omnidirectional, and figure eight, plus the aforementioned high pass filter and 10 dB pad. The included shock mount is also worth mentioning. There's a simple mechanism on the bottom that lets you easily insert the mic and lock it in place. So you don't have to fiddle around with screwing the mic in and then lining it up or anything like that. Last but certainly not least, the C100 comes with this great protective case that's rugged and lightweight, which is what you want because you're gonna wanna take this mic with you wherever you're recording. It's a little Mission Impossible looking, but honestly, I wish every condenser mic came in a case like this. And just an FYI, the two small condensers come with their own padded cases that keep them well protected while you transport or store them. Very cool. It's all well and good to talk about a mic, but hearing it in action is really what will let you know whether or not it's the right one for you. So, I got together with two of my close friends who happen to be my musical accomplices, and we quickly wrote and recorded a song today just to give you guys a taste of the C100 in action. In terms of vocal chain, I had the mic going directly into channel one of my Silverface Apollo, and I utilized an API Unison plugin with light compression. However, I disengaged the EQ so that you'd hear the mic without any frequency manipulation whatsoever. Check it out. One, two, one, two, three, four. you on the phone I hope that you come over it's been so long since I had this feeling so damn real I got something to show ya I'm dreaming of the world where we stand side by side oh you won't need much all you gotta do is take time to get to know me take time to kiss and hold me take time i've been so lonely take a little time take time to get to know me take time to kiss and warm me take time i've been so lonely take a little time
take time, take time to get to know me. Take time, take time to get to know me. Take time, take time to get to know me. Take time, take time to get to know me. Take time, take time to get to know me. Take time. And there you have it. I actually love how the C100 performed. So much so that I wish I could keep this one. Hopefully some of you won't even watch this video and they'll just forget that I have it. Honestly though, if you're at a point where you're really happy with your setup, but you know that you just need that centerpiece studio condenser mic that's gonna make everything crystal clear and really present in your productions, you should definitely check out the C100. I hope you enjoyed the review and demo and thanks so much for watching. For more info on the C100 and Sony's line of high-res mics, check out bhphoto.com. This is AB, and I'll see you next time.